Hello everyone, welcome back to Mega Man 2. When we left off, we had defeated all eight of Dr. Wily's specially made robot masters. Uh, and now we're just jumping right to it. We are storming the gate, we are taking down the castle. We are beyond a factory at this point. Wily has gone full mad scientist. He is living in a castle in the mountains, and we are gonna take it down. One of the most iconic themes in all of gaming, honestly. Beyond Mega Man, even. The Mega Man 2 Wily Stage 1 is probably, like, the what most people think of when they think of, like, final level music. Loading us up at the start, because we will need it. Wily is no slouch in this game. It's not like it's not like Mega Man 1 where you can knock out the whole castle in just 20 minutes. If you're if you're not ready for it, this castle can take a while just because it is very difficult. And not always in great ways. When I say um when I say I feel like this game has problems in the later game, this not this level but these levels in general are what I mean. I think uh, Mega Man 2's Wily Castle has some of both the best and some of the worst in whoops in the series. I think uh, it's uh, it's where a lot of problems in this game start to shine, but also where a lot of the hype comes from. And this first level knocks it out of the park. I do love Wily 1. I think the song gets a little overplayed, personally. But, that's speaking as a Mega Man fan who's had it blaring in her ears since, like, 2008. Whenever I first got into Mega Man as a wee child. But if you're not as familiar with Mega Man, you're probably a little more chill with it. Chill with the music. Ay ay ay. I don't know why I always I always do that too. Mm. Yeah, baby. Ooh, flashing light warning. Look away. Okay, we're good. That's gonna happen at the end of every boss. Maybe maybe in my editing program there's a way to blur that. I hope so. Um, but every Wily boss in this game does unfortunately flash the entire screen, so... If you're photosensitive, uh, keep an eye on the health bars, and once they get low enough, look away. Uh, what do I need? I need some item 2. Get some item three and jump on item two later. Yeah, baby. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need item two for the rest of the game, so I guess I could get some quick boomerang ammo. Item one might come in handy. Uh, may as well use these last ones on item two just for the heck of it. Beat these guys, ow. And I have full, uh... Oh, I... Can you get more than 10 lives in this game? I honestly, I genuinely don't know. 
Oh, you can! Huh. But I am full up on E-Tanks, so I don't need that one. A little bit of a Metal Man throwback here. Ending the game how we began it. Poetic. I'm sure that's what they were going for, too. I, 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 I'm sure it was always intended to be a little bit of mirroring poetry, and not at all just, like, a little challenge. And this is my least favorite obstacle in the game, because it's so close to being avoidable. I got it! You gotta really get in the perfect, the perfect spot to avoid those. And it is not easy. Uh... Nah, I got fully tanks if I need them. Here we have the living room. Beware! See? It's a living room. Not a whole lot to talk about here, it's basically just pattern memorization. Think of this as kind of Yellow Devil 2.0, only way easier. I say that, but look at my health bar. That's bad. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Excuse me. kidding me? We are gonna need full crash bombs for an upcoming boss. The big fish. Another the big fish. So, the spike drop. One of the most iconic obstacles, but... I didn't... I'm... I'm a little dumb. But, what I was trying to show off there was if you pause during the spike drop, you, uh, reset your momentum. So, it makes it actually pretty easy if you can time your pauses right ah, itchy nose I love that big fish sprite it's a little it, it like almost doesn't fit the art style for some reason I can't explain why but it just feels a little bit wrong in a very goofy way Ordinarily, I can get through without using the pause trick, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I really don't want this to take any longer than it has to. Not out of any unenjoyment. I just don't want to keep you here doing the same thing over and over again. I, uh, I didn't mean to use turbo fire there. Whoopsie. Here we have the Guts Tank! And if that name sounds familiar, it should! Gutsman's back and bigger than ever, baby! 
He's huge. Ah. Uh, ow. I am. I'm just gonna use turbo fire on this guy. There we go. I have no shame. Yeah, I love. I love guts tank. I really like what the the fan comic. Um, if you've heard of uh, MS Paint masterpieces, it's like a sprite comic derived, I believe, from a website called Bob and George or something. I don't know. I never got into like. Oh, sorry about all the creaky chair stuff. I just need to get a little comfy. Uh, I never got into like the history of it, but I really like it, and I think it's still going on to this day, just with very sparse uploads. Um, but uh, their take on the Guts Tank is that it's like literally Gutsman's personality chip, his IC chip, was it's called, put into the tank, and it just like it can't fully use its its huge body. Like his his brain chip just wasn't made for that, and so it's just kind of in like like. And it's a, it's supposed to be like a very goofy comic most of the time, at least it was near the start. So to go from like a goofy early 2000s sprite comic humor to an existentially agonizing creature is a very funny tone shift to me, and one that really stuck with me as a kid. Oh, we are going to need a little bit of item, too. I just remembered for this level. But I think that should be enough. There we go. But yeah, I highly recommend if you... The, the, it, it, it drags a little bit at the start, just because it was originally meant to be like a... kind of no-story, goofy comic. Uh, sprite comic. But uh, if you can get through that and get to the actual story segments... I highly recommend MS Paint Masterpieces. It is a it is a great Mega Man comic. I don't want to deal with this. Some of those blocks are fake, so I don't have the patience to deal with that. Do I have full E tanks right now? I do have full E tanks right now. Oh, but I might want to kill those Mets just to get some uh, ammo. Pick up. Health. Pretty good, but not what I'm after. Ah. There is a part later on that's very annoying without uh, item 2 energy, so I am just going to farm these guys for a bit. Hopefully it's not too boring, but if I'm watching it back in editing and I decide that it is, I'll just fast forward. Okay. You really don't need much for what's coming up. It just... I don't know. I'm always a little nervous when I'm not at full. Uh-oh. Gonna make it? Yeah! Oh! -ho -ho. It's a little risky there. But... It's fun. It's fun to be risky. Those guys are gonna get to me before the platform does, so I gotta use my shield. Even though it cuts the music in half. Just gets rid of an entire sound channel. This is not my favorite level in the game, I will say. It's this is the room I was thinking of that I need the um, item two ammo. This is a very. I'm not a big fan of this level. <laughs> you gotta. It, it's a lot of waiting. Yeah, you don't need much item 2 at all for that. You need even less than I thought, but... 
I still just wanted to have it. Okay. I I will shamelessly use turbo fire for those guys. I shouldn't use turbo fire for normal sniper guys though. They're fine. They've done nothing to me. They've done nothing wrong. Uh, I think I want to start with item one because I need to get out of a place. The boo beam trap. Watch in terror as the worst boss in the game requires you to have almost full crash bombs. And, ow, mash the pause button so that you can have some invincibility because of those unavoidable beams. I'm not even kidding, that's like the only way to avoid those beams. Ah! I was going for funky jump. I might... What? Why are you kidding me? Mega Man feels better to control in this game. Not perfect. Little slippery. Kidding me. What? What? Ow. Whoops, that's not the button. This is not a uh, Mega Man ten or eleven or whatever whatever one lets you scroll through the thing with the shoulder buttons. NES didn't have shoulder buttons back then, so Okay, we're good. Oh, what was I talking about? Almost full. You need literally all of your... Oh my god, I don't like that boss at all. You need to know exactly how to fight it. Or you just you just have to game over. It's so bad. It's so bad. I don't know what they were thinking with that boss. Speaking of game overs, I might have to get one to re just to refill all my ammo. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. What am I thinking? Heat man. Ow. Ow. Rude, rude man, more like. I will, um... I will try. I will give this an honest try, but if I die against Dr. Wily... I will just need the game over, and that's gonna take a while. So, ow. I'm probably gonna fast forward that. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not giving up. I'll give it the old college try. Man. 
Z P Z. Who's next? Bubble Man, I don't even need to switch weapons for you. Yoink. Excuse me. This one might be hard, because I am out of crash bombs. So I will have to just Mega Buster him. Ooh, okay. Mega Buster does more damage than I remembered, so that wasn't actually that hard. Crash man, I need air. Ow. Can you get off me, bro? Thank you. I wish, I do, I would be cool if, like, beating each Robot Master refilled that weapon in particular. That would be useful. I just thought of that right now, so. Yeah, fun fact, Metal Man is weak to his own weapon, and, it, like, it's not even close. I don't, I don't know why they did that. I think, I think I read somewhere that they did it, like, specifically as a joke. But, I don't know. I don't know how true that is. I read it, like, years ago, and I don't even know if, if I actually read that. I might be misremembering entirely. Okay, I need heat, man. I, like I said in the Mega Man 1 playthrough, I always forget his weakness, so I do genuinely just have a weakness order up uh, right now for Dr. Wily. This would be so much easier to avoid if you could slide like in Mega Man 3. I'm using my E-Tanks, because if I don't, I will die. And if I die, I will need to just start over. Yes! Oh my god, first try. I was not expecting that at all. I genuinely was expecting to need to... Yeah, we beat Wily, but it's not the end just yet. There's just a little bit more. Have to explore the caves beneath Wily Castle. That stuff is acidic in nature, so it will hurt you if you touch it. Final confrontation is here. That's right. Dr. Wily has been an alien the entire time. And we're in space. And this boss is actually pretty hard. Pretty easy if you can get the pattern down, but if you get hurt just a few times, you will die. So, Alien Wily is not to be sneezed at. Ooh. Ah, what am I saying? It does do a lot of damage, but if you got the pattern down, you're good. You know, I always... I... As soon as I start getting confident... I also love his, like, pulsating gills or whatever is in his chest there. It's really gross looking for NES, I love it. That's some, like, Contra level stuff.
It was a hologram. Come on, you think Wily was an alien? <laughs> this game isn't. This, this series doesn't tackle aliens. Yet. I just noticed he has little red pants. And a surprisingly somber outro music for this game. One that I actually really, really like. I, um... Yeah, despite my criticisms, especially toward the end, I love this game. This game pretty much raised me. This, this was super influential in just, like... I mean, it was influential in general, but to me specifically, it was super... It, it, this game crafted my tastes. So, like, I have my criticisms, but it still might be my favorite classic Mega Man game, just for nostalgia's sake, just for that. And I am always happy to revisit it, and I was re I'm, I'm really happy to have recorded it, too. And I'm excited to jump into Mega Man 3. Because Mega Man 3, while it's far from my favorite game in the series, does introduce my favorite character, maybe in the whole series. It's between him and Zero from Mega Man X. So, it's... Mega Man 3 is a big step. Mega Man 3... It, it takes a few steps back, I would say. I, I'd say it's a little lower tier than Mega Man 2, but... It is a huge step forward for the story and world of Mega Man, um, and sets the groundwork for a lot. So I'm I'm excited to jump into it. And off King, love that guy. <laughs> Yuki-chan's papa? How have I never noticed that before? That's a great, that is a great name. Yeah, following, following their great soundtrack, we have a great ending theme here. Great credits theme, I should say. A lot of special thanks on this game. Dang. Yeah. Fishman, my favorite robot master. But yeah, that was Mega Man 2. One of the most important games to my childhood and one of the most iconic games of the NES era in general. In the next episode, we will be tackling Mega Man 3, learning a little bit more about uh Dr. Light and Dr. Wily's relationship, and maybe see a new face along the way. See you then.